Hello everyone and welcome to episode 97 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm going to do a little uh, suggestion that Ola Jetlund, or if you were uh, saying that in English it'd be Ola Jetgrove or something. Pretty cool name, I think. So uh, he's uh, in Norway, a fellow uh, neighboring country, and uh, he's suggested a couple of times, I think, to do a circuit board. And I have no clue whatsoever about circuits. The closest I ever got to making one was that I made a, a sound card. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty complicated. But back in the 90s, I created a Kovox sound card, and it's uh, very simple. It was like the printer port back in the days when you had like a 25 pin printer port, old style. Then you could put uh, about eight trans or not transistors. What am I going on about? Uh, eight resistors, and uh, I think they were in like uh, like what is it? Power of two or something? I don't know. Incremental uh, strength anyway on each pin, and then you could plug it into your hi-fi system or your stereo or amplifier, and it made a cool sound. And it was uh, very much uh, better than the uh, PC tweeter that was uh, available at the time. So we created some demos using that, and uh, that's my only experience. Literally just taking eight resistors and putting them uh, on, like soldering them onto little pins. And uh, apart from that, got no clue what to, anything to do with the circuit boards. Ola is actually creating some uh, videos and uh, put the link in the description. Men siden set total også bare er 10 ohm så vil jo dette bli viserspenningen inn inngangs Dr. OJ, he calls himself when he puts videos up and he does some rocket science circuit board in my mind and I'm gonna do something very much less rocket science-y and just throw some different components, whatever I can think of, onto a circuit board in 10 minutes. So let's see how that goes. Why am I squinting? It's not even that bright. It's because my vision's poor. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Ready? Steady? Go and we're off. Yes, tab into edit mode. A select everything. Scale, shift Z. Oh no, Z. I want to flatten this thing. There we go. Scale, Shift Z. Now we want to make it bigger and then make it green, it's like a circuit board color, of course. And then add Shift A cylinder. Scale this one down. Scale it on the Z axis. Scale it down even more. Zoom in. Rotate Y 90. And then we'll make some weird transistor here. No, not transistor. Why did I say that? It's not. It's a resistor. I resist to say the proper thing. There we go. Make it gray first, I guess. Let's grab these two. Alt E. Extrude long face normals. Scale it down, and then Alt E extra long face normals. Scale that one down. Alt E extra long face normals. Scale down. Actually, period. Let's do medium point scale X. Maybe like this. Scale X. There we go. A lot of time wasted there. Alt E extra long face normals, and I think I'm just gonna do uh, like a free free base thing. Free, not free base. And a free do this one. So one on the keypads. Control right click. Uh, so it's gonna have some low poly style. So you could uh, go high poly if you want. I don't. Control right click. Uh, there we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Rarely is when I do things. Control R, loop cut, and let's put a bunch of bands on here. Alt select. I have no idea about the color combinations, by the way. I just know that they're different thicknesses and colors. So I, I know there's like you can calculate how strong they are, but let's just do red and then. Should we do this one? Why do I do them in different? Maybe blue, maybe yellow. And I have no idea, maybe white. There we go. Alt Z. Three. And side view. I wanna make these, oh, come on. B, there we go. Take that away, and that way. Control plus. Alt Z to see see through off, and then there we go. Okay, so I've already spent like two minutes on a stupid uh, resistor. So Shift D Y 0 0.1. Let's put a bunch of them there and colorize them maybe. So I'll I'll do uh, L here to. Well, oh, I can't even hit the marks here. L L L L. Um, and then let's just shift all these colors that are not gray, you no, know, different colors, and again. If you know about these, this is going to be the wrong thing, but never mind. It's just for visuals. Gee, there we go. So there's a bunch of uh, resistors anyway. Uh, let's put a microchip here. That would be cool. Scale, Shift D to duplicate that thing. And then E to extrude this one. E to extrude, S to scale. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I need to fit it here. And uh, black, of course, cool color. Control R. And then now I'm going to put Control R. <laughs> Lots of, maybe 10. That's good. 
and hold the control key to select to there, shift select there, control to there. I to inset twice so we get the individuals and alt E extra long face normals, alt E extra long face normals and then just move it down into the circuit board. There we go. That's our microchip. And then maybe we can put some, uh, what else should we put? There is, uh, let's grab a, a, like a round thing here. If I can hit. Hello. There. Shift D to duplicate. Rotate Y90. Now I'm starting to get into the groove of things here. L. And here I'm going to make, uh, what are these called? Uh, capacitors that store an electric charge, I think. So let's do cap that one. Alt or just F. Ring select that. F. And then here. I to inset. E to extrude. I to inset. E to extrude. I don't know if they look like that. But this one does control R. Let's colorize this thing as well. It looks a bit more interesting. Um, here, let's make this one darker as well. Black. And then we'll extrude a couple of legs here. So we'll do old Z, see through. Maybe we'll do both of those, I guess. Alt Z, Alt E, extra long face normals. And Alt E again, extra long face normals. Scale on the Y axis. And let's just bring this down. So E to extrude. And so, there we go. So that's some sort of a put a little, little extra detail here. There we go. High poly nearly. Not really, but nearly. Not really, but nearly. <laughs> there we go. So L to select the linked, Shift D will just duplicate these a few times and put them over here maybe. Shift D, scale this one up as if it was bigger. How am I doing? 450. Uh, so I'm nearly wasted the whole time here. Okay, we'll put some more. Let's grab another circle here. Oh, this time I got it. Rotate. Oh no, we'll do just do extrude here. And then th these could be a little bit different, I guess. But I don't know if they're resistors now or transistors. I don't know. Transistors look like, I don't know, little bugs, I think. So let's cap that on. Cap this one. Grab this one, this one. Alt E, extra long face normals. Scale it down, Alt E. It looks looks like a resistor again, I guess. So Alt E, extra long face normals. Scale it down. And Alt E. Oh no, let's do I to inset. Alt E, extra long face normals. And I'll just cheat on this one. Alt E won't bend this so nicely. These are a little bit more. Looks a bit fra fragile, but never mind. There we go. L. Should we colorize this as well? So now, Control Plus. Blue, maybe? 340 something. L. I guess these are, I don't know, resistors as well, or I don't know. Shift D. Shift D. Let's rotate a few of these anyway. Scale them up. There we go. I won't probably won't have time to put any lines on here, but shift D, shift D, and then let's colorize this one differently. Different strength or whatever it's called, L. And then uh, some um, boxes. I don't know, diodes isn't it something I know as well. Is that like a light or? Oh, well, that'd be a light diode or something. Scale Y. Well, sometimes I've seen these little just boxes of some sort with the color on them. Scale X, L, let's put them. There we go. Shift D, and we should put some connectors of some sort as well. Let's do some weird connector here. I've seen where you plug in stuff on your motherboard. Maybe bigger. I don't know what scale this is, but never mind. E to extrude, L. How am I doing? Two minutes 30. Let's put a little connector thing here. E to extrude, shift D to duplicate, scale, Y, control R. Oh, now I'm picking up the pace here. And just as I said that, I messed up here. So, I to inset, E to extrude, S to oh, period, individual origins, S to scale, control plus, make these nearly white there. So that took a lot of time. Let's put another microchip here. So I've got two minutes to go. Scale, well, I won't put any lines on, I think. Just, uh, I'll just focus on 
the circuitry for now. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, S to scale on the Y axis, L. Why didn't I do this speed from the beginning? Blackish, Control R, let's do a whole bunch of them and then Control R, and then Shift Control, Shift select there, Control select to there, I to inset, Alt E, extra. that's a lot of uh, pins here. Must be in a very important microchip this. Control R, Control Plus, Control Plus, make them metally. How am I doing? One, something, I don't know. Let's uh, put some patterns on these as well. So I'll just make some weird shape here. As if this meant something, like a sign here too. Maybe like this. No, text or something. G, move it to there. Right there. And then let's put some more resistors here. L, L, L. I've got 54 seconds to go. Rotate Z, 9. Oh, okay. Period, medium point. Rotate Z, 90. Let's just try to fill this up as much as we can. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Shift D, duplicate again. Put some there. Put another, whatever these are called, capacitors. There we go. Rotate Z, 90. Scale this one up. No, I want to scale them down. 28 seconds, Shift-D, Shift-D, put here, Shift-D, duplicate this one, scale this one down, move it there, color it red instead, Shift-D, ah, how am I doing, 13 seconds, Shift-D, X, Shift-R, let's do black, 6 seconds, Control-R, I don't know why I did that for, Control-R, for no reason, I just divided that one, 10 minutes on the clock. We've got a little self. We, we got our little selves a circuit board. <laughs> We've got ourselves to dismiss. Come on. Did I record? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, let's move the camera in place so we can actually see what's going on here. That's it. That's our circuit board. Let's do Z rendered. Okay. I don't know what this would do. We don't see the lines, I don't know, that's probably a big fail. I should have had the, those little high highways, high lines, lines of high, I don't know. They could be on the underside that we don't see. Solder them in place, so maybe it's okay that they are not visible. But I think we need to brighten it up a little bit more. Let's save it. Okay, everyone, and especially a big thanks to Ola Jetlund for coming up with this idea. This was pretty fun. It actually makes me want to make some more circuit boards, maybe bigger ones. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll re-challenge myself to see if I can find a better way to do them faster. Because it would be fun to, to do, like, see what you can squeeze into a 10 minute, maybe like a 10 minute circuit board challenge. Who can fit the most circuits and make it, it doesn't have to be accurate, because then, well, let's just stop it right there. That just wouldn't work. Pretty cool little connector there, I don't know, you could uh, make some, some weird stuff, plug this in, maybe watch some YouTube on it, watch some Netflix, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. See, it'd be pretty cool if you could find like an optimum workflow to get a mad cre uh, credit card, <laughs> circuit board, in uh, fitted in the time. So thanks a lot, Ola Jetland, for that suggestion. It was uh, a lot of fun, actually. More fun than I thought. And uh, good luck with your uh, YouTube channel as well and with your circuitry. I'm going to actually check a few of those episodes and see if it makes any sense to me at any point in time. So that's going to be it. A short one this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back next week. There's a lot of things I'm hoping for. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now. burnt the circuit here somewhere.